But first, a Sacramento County Board of Supervisors meeting gets heated. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Adrian Moore. The issue at that meeting, a proposed ban on homeless camps along the American River. The Board of Supes are set for a final vote tonight that would make it official. At the same time, the city of Sacramento, their meeting is underway to council with a vote on a sidewalk camping ban that's expected. To break it all down for us, let's get to CBS 13's Madison Keeby. She's live in Sacramento tonight. Madison. Yeah, a lot going on here. You know, today I talked to a business owner in downtown Sacramento, and he said that he's nearly lost faith in the city and the county to present real, tangible solutions to a problem he says is right outside his business door and really impacting his business nonetheless. He described and showed us what his daily routine looks like cleaning up the sidewalk right outside of his business. He said he regularly finds syringes, human feces, and people sleeping just feet from where he hopes customers will come in and enjoy a meal. He said he's been down in downtown Sacramento there on J Street for 17 years and has never once thought about leaving until recently. He also told me anecdotally that he's known of at least half a dozen businesses within the downtown area that have either closed or moved because of people who live on the sidewalks near their business and the issues that they say have come from that. He broke some of that down for us earlier. I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel. I mean, we do our part when it comes to cleaning our area, our space, everything. Try to work with the city and everyone else, but uh, we do need to see the city do something about it. Uh, he echoed, you know, a lot of what we've heard in public comments here in the last three hours in the Board of Supervisors meeting there just over and over again. A lot of angry comments towards the Board of Supervisors and the city, too, uh, you know, from people who say that the proposed ordinances are just not enough. Well, this has been a problem for quite some time, Madison. What's been stopping the, the city and county leaders from moving these encampments on public property? Oftentimes, we hear something called the Boise decision cited as the reason why local governments can't just come in and move people in encampments like what you see behind me. What that is is basically a decision that came out of Boise, Idaho. A group of people who were living unhoused sued the city because they were getting ticketed over and over again for sleeping outside. Now, basically, after a legal battle, the Ninth Circuit Court ruled that actually local governments can't move people unless they have somewhere else for them to go. And of course, that comes with housing, which is why you hear this cited again and again in these discussions. Uh, the city right now in discussions about their sidewalk ordinance is talking about this very issue. So many layers, not a simple solution, that's for sure, to a complicated problem. We'll track it all night. Madison, thank you, live in Sacramento.